Hi everyone, uh, you, as you know I've been playing with the spark gaps for a while and I'm using the generator coils on, on my uh, Bedini and uh, let's see here is the spark gap down there I'm using today um, but uh, I would like to have a spark gap that gives me DC so that I can see what happens when I uh, charge a battery with a DC spark gap so uh, this is my uh, circuit that I have been using earlier but this puts a lot of stress on the diode uh, I haven't been able to find a suitable diode for this uh, or a bridge rectifier or, or anything because when uh, when this um, circuit gets into resonance I get uh, above 2 kilovolts and uh, so the voltage and the amperage is quite high when it, when it uh, this discharge over the spark gap. So I came up with this solution. Uh, I have. Uh, it just happens that I have, when I have tuned this, I have uh, as many capacitors as I have coils. So it was very easy for me to to keep the resonance frequency on each coil, and then let it uh, charge another capacitor and they are in serious to get the high voltage and now I don't need a diode up here so I can uh, discharge across the battery now in my example these two capacitors are the same as you can see here in my uh, setup here are the capacitors that make resonance and there is a diode in between and here are the, the row of the secondary capacitors and they can be in any value of course and um, in, the, in my case they are uh, when in series they only have uh, they only give 15 nanofarad so it's not much of, of, of a, a charge when I discharge over the battery now this voltage is across one of the capacitors and they are 10 so just take this voltage times 10 and you have the, the voltage that I have over this spark gap and uh, let's see if I can make this oh. <laughs> just a minute like that okay so let's do it by hand instead here you can see so now I have two kilovolts that I discharge across here okay so uh, <laughs> thank you for watching I gotta take this call thank you for watching